In this training tutorial, we'll give an overview of the T-Navigator Smart Feature Model Split and Merge. We will split our full field model into several sectors, work with sectors independently, and then merge them back. Let's start. Now, first of all, when sector modeling is a good idea. Of course, if you have large model and unreasonable simulation time, Often, you need to modify locally reservoir properties in history matching process. Or, you need to solve local production organization problems on your forecast. So, you don't need to run the whole case to deal with these problems. T-Navigator provides the smart workflow for this purpose. Now, we have a full field model integrated with static model that should be used for long-term forecast. We define the boundaries of our sectors and split the model into parts automatically. When we need to calculate full case one time to save boundary conditions for our sectors. Now, we can distribute the work between several reservoir engineers. We give each of them one model sector. This sector has small amount of grid blocks and is absolutely independent from the big full field model. So, reservoir engineer can run it very fast on his workstation. There are a lot of advantages now. Possibility to work with sectors as independent parts on computers with small amount of memory. History matching at well level. Production optimization. Work over planning. Local model turning and editing. Then, T-Navigator merges automatically all modifications that had been done in sectors to the full model. And we just need to rerun the big model to update boundary conditions. One time a week or in any other time period. Model split technology can be used as well if you don't need to merge model back. For example, you want to try something locally and you don't want to calculate the full case. So, you just define the sector boundaries, split and run it independently. In this case, zero boundary conditions will be used. Let's start split and merge in T-Navigator. I open the model. If we have boundaries of the sectors, we can use it. If we don't have them, no problem. Let's paint our sectors now. Go to User Maps, Map, 2D View. Select Type in the drop down menu, Average. Press Button and Create Region with Brush. Change the radius of the brush with the slider. Now we'll assign value 1 to region 1, value 2 to region 2, etc. Hold left mouse button and paint the first sector. Then change the value in the box from 1 to 2 and paint second region. Then use number 3. Now, I made three regions. You can paint as many as you want. We can see our regions in 3D now. Then, press Split Model button and select Map. We created in the drop-down menu. We see the list of our regions. Press split and wait for the message in the log. Model has been split successfully. Now we can close the data file. In the folder with the model, we have a patterns folder now. In it, we have folders with model sectors and a patterns file. This file has information about all sectors. We need to open it and calculate one time to save boundary conditions for our sectors. We open dot patterns file, run it, and wait till the end. If this file isn't calculated, model parts don't have boundary conditions and we can run them only with zero boundary conditions. Go to regions, feep pot to see our sectors. After calculations, close the Patterns file. In the folders with sectors, there are .flux files now. Flow through the boundary is saved there. Now, let's make modifications in our sectors. 
I open sector 1. I add a new well in it. Use Alt plus click on the block to add vertical well with default settings. And run calculations of this sector. Now close this model. Then I open sector 2. Here I want to change relative permeabilities. Go to Properties, hold Shift and move relative permeabilities endpoints with left mouse button. Run calculations of this sector and wait till the end. Close this model. So we're ready to update the full field model. Open dot patterns file again. Now we can see a new well here that was added in sector one. Go to regions, satinum to see saturation regions. Saturation region two is our sector two. Go to Properties to see relative permeability curves in these regions. So all modifications that we made in sectors are implemented automatically in Full Field Model. T-Navigator merged it. Reduce your calculation time from hours to seconds using split and merge technology. Thank you for your attention. Enjoy working with T-Navigator and see other training tutorials for more details.